Hi friends, welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing about how to create uh, database templates and how to use the uh, database templates. So here uh, we have already set our environment variables for the Oracle Home. So I'll be starting the DBCA. Okay, uh, we'll just click on next and uh, here we'll just go ahead with a create database option um, create a uh, custom database next uh, we'll give the database name as test and configure and database manager we'll, we'll go ahead with all the default options um, give the password as oracle Okay, it says their password is not as per the policy. Um, that's fine. Since it's a test environment, we can go ahead with that one. And we'll store the database files in the um, uh, a common location. So what I'll do that I'll just take a location that is by shit slash arc. Next, I'll give the flash recovery area and uh, um, uh, enable archiving. So this is the default option. It's telling that there is not enough space. Do you want to continue? Yes. Okay. I don't want uh, all these features uh, for that. Uh, yes, because it may take a lot of time. So I'll just uh, uncheck all these features and proceed to the next. I'll take the typical memory as 440% uh, of them and sizing uh, as the 8 bytes and uh, processor 150. And then character set connection mode everything what are the default is there so here the assumption is that we want, we have we are going to create a um, uh, sample um, template database and then um, uh, we will we'll create a database with all the features and then we'll use that database uh, from that particular database we'll create a template and the template will be used for um, creating multiple databases of the same feature so just click on next okay so here i do have option like um, create a database or save us database template so i don't want to create a database but but i wanted to create as a template so um the, uh, here uh, the name of the template is test and here i can give some description um template for a a test database which can be can be replicated in other servers of the same operating system and uh, on uh, based on, on the same uh, server on uh, servers with the same operating system version okay just click on finish so it show you all the uh, database character i mean database parameters uh, features everything will be shown and uh, we can just click on okay okay so it says that the template test creation is completed do you want it to perform any other operations okay for the time being we'll give no now we'll start up the dbc once again okay now we will call the dbc once again Just click on next. Okay, now we'll go ahead with the creation of a new database. Okay, now you can see that there is an the template whatever we created, the test template is already available there. Okay, so that means if you are using this template and uh, try to create a database, then that new database will be having all the characteristics of that particular. Uh, test template which we created whatever the uh, uses whatever we are having or else say whatever the um, charac um, database character set or the um, number of processor whatever it be or or the database related parameters or, or um, whatever was the feature of the previous database the same features will be available for this database as well you can how to create it like you can just click on the test option I mean the template which you want just click on next 
by default the database name is coming as test because it's using that template if you want you can change it uh, and then you can proceed with the database creation hope this is clear now uh, next we will see that how we can um, manage uh, the uh, existing template so just uh, click on uh, dbca click on next select the option manage templates next okay so what you can do is that um, you can create an uh, uh, a template we can create the template in different options one is that we can create a database template with from an existing template okay uh, uh, the uh, option the other option is that if you wanted to uh, create an um, ex from an existing data with, with the structure only or with the uh, existing data with the structure and data so um, suppose like say you have a um, database is there and you have created the database with a lot of uses and uh, uh, schemas everything and then you wanted to replicate the data uh, on the different servers then you can select the third option that is create the uh, template uh, with the database and the data once the template is created then use that particular template and create um, uh, uh, the databases on the other nodes as we dis just shown in the uh, previous option so the first option here it's showing is that uh, from an existing template so we have an existing template is there from that we can create a new template just click on next we have selected the uh, uh, template and we can see that this is the test uh, uh, test or or temp from temp so this new template will be having all the features of the existing template existing test since we have selected the test template it will be having all the features of the existing test template okay now um, if you want like we can change uh, the features uh, the file system everything or else you can use the uh, database uh, files from the uh, template itself flash recovery area it is going to tell that there is not enough space uh, the flash recovery area that's fine next memory next okay finish the new template is created okay now we'll come back uh, sorry uh, we'll go take the manage template option template option once again click on next select the option so uh, uh, from an existing database structure only just click on next we have to um, give uh, the before for this we need to have a database up and running so let's see whether we can get a database up and run okay I have created the database so uh, started the database so let's give sys um, or we can just give system slash oracle and the services city okay um, looks like the lesson is down uh, let's bring up the lesson as well okay the lesson is started so just uh, try to connect again okay so um, I, I uh, connected to the database now it's I need to uh, give a template name so uh, I'll give temp from DB structure only okay just click on next it is asking that um, do you wanted to maintain the file locations or do you wanted to uh, convert the location as per the OF, uh, OFA structure so I'll select the option as um, uh, selecting the file location as, as, per, as, as per optimal flexible architecture okay now the template is being is created now let's select the next option that is from an existing database structure as well as the data so uh, just proceed and um, it is again what is the database instance what you're having
okay and here uh, again give the structure uh, uh, plus data okay so it's um, uh, the location of the templates will be uh, here you can see that uh, oracle is giving an option of uh, of giving the template location because when we are telling the date uh, since we have selected the option that is a structure plus data then uh, it requires a lot of space so oracle is giving you an option like where you wanted to uh, store so here i'm just selecting uh, because um, uh, the only place where i have the space is the uh, current uh, file system um, so i'm selecting that option and and proceeding Okay, here also I do have an option that maintain the file locations as like that of the source, or I can convert uh, the uh, file locations as per um, OFA. Okay, here you can see that the database, the source database, whichever we are uh, doing, the source database will be shut down uh, during the time. The Oracle will shut down the, uh, or DBC will shut down the uh, uh, that particular database, and then we'll take the uh, structure of the. So the cloning, um, the, sorry, the template creation uh, process is completed. So now we have another template that is uh, temp uh, underscore from DB structure plus data. Then it's asking that do you want it to perform any, any other operation. We'll click on yes and we'll see the last option that is dropping or deleting a template. So select that option, go to next. And we have the several um, uh, templates are there. We'll select a template which we created and just click on finish. It gives all the options of that particular template and just click on OK. OK. Now, as a last topic, we'll be seeing, say, we have created a template uh, with the data. Now, how we'll be using that template uh, uh, on another server to create a similar database? So for that, we'll be seeing, the, we'll go to the location of the templates and then we'll copy the, uh, the templates to the uh, uh, other server. So, cd dollar oracle underscore home pwd cd templates Okay, so we are at Oracle Home. There we can go to CD Assistance and then DBCA and their templates folder is there. If you give an LSFNL, you can see uh, the templates which we created. So what we need is that we have to copy the uh, all the there are three files are there one is at ctl um, um, the template uh, name dot ctl template uh, name dot dbc and the template uh, name dot dbf so we have to copy all the three uh, files and then we have to copy to our target server so scp temp from db structure plus data star to oracle at the rate 10.17.57.63 colon dollar oracle underscore home slash assistance dbca slash templates it's asking me the password i'll give the password now once the files are copied we will be able to start the dbca from the other node
okay the copy is completed now what we'll do that we'll connect it to the other machine or I can or I env to set up an environment variable I'll give or I env and give one of the database So um, create a database, select the create uh, database option and um, now you can see that the uh, structure or the template which you copied from the first machine is available here. So select that template, proceed with the next. Okay, now you can provide, give the name like say new database, new DB, click on next, configure and paste manager. Okay, it says that listener is not there, so I'll uncheck the uh, configure enterprise manager option. Just click on next. It's asked for the username and password. I'll give the password as Oracle. So, like this, you uh, like how you created the um, uh, normal uh, database in the uh, like uh, whenever you are creating the database, we will be selecting the uh, uh, templates like um, uh, oil DPR environment. So, the same way you can select the template and proceed. Now next if you are giving it will be asking us you to um, uh, provide the file system you can give a path and finish. So when you are creating the database what happens there it contains all the data which was available on the original database. So originally we have a, a, a database called prime was there from that prime we have uh, selected the data now with that option we will be uh, whatever the data was there on that particular database will be available on this new database on the different server because we have created a, a template with the data and structure we copied out here and we um, used a dbca to use that particular uh, template hope this uh, session on the templates are clear for you thank you